Welcome to Inside Ag from Kansas Farm Bureau, the voice of agriculture. I'm Shelby Varner. Kansas Farm Bureau's Young Farmers and Ranchers Leaders Conference will be taking place January 27th through the 29th in Manhattan, Kansas. And then to talk about the conference and the competitions that take place at the event are Kansas Farm Bureau members, Jackie Munt from Pratt County and Austin Hebert from Harvey County. Thank you both so much for taking the time to join us today. To get us started, Jackie, could you tell us a bit about yourself? As you mentioned, I'm a farmer from Pratt County. I am originally from Wisconsin, but my spouse wanted to come home and be a part of the family farm. And so we chose to make our home here in Pratt County. Um, I also work off the farm as the communications and marketing manager for Kansas Cooperative. And one of the things that makes rural life really exciting for us is the ability to have a community of people who want to have the same values and raise their families in the same way and really have a great life. And um, we see that in our small community in Pratt, but we also see that with Kansas Farm Bureau. And so we've both gotten involved at the county and state level. I've had an opportunity to compete in the YFNR competitive events. I also currently serve on the state's PAC committee, which is the Vote FBF committee. And so we're the ones who do all the political endorsements and contributions. Um, and I've had a chance to be involved in numerous roles at the county level as well. So um, Farm Bureau is something that I'm really excited about. And it has been a great place for us to connect with other people who understand the life that we're living and who are all working towards making it really great and our farms profitable. Austin, then could you also share a bit about yourself and your involvement with Kansas Farm Bureau? So I reside in Harvey County, born and raised. My wife and I have a small cow-calf pair operation, and then I work alongside uh, my parents with our farming operation. We do kind of your standard row crop and then focus mainly on hay and forage production with uh, large square bales and round bales. As far as KFB involvement, it kind of holds a, a special place in my heart, mostly because thanks to KFB is kind of how I found my wife in one way or another. So I suppose I should give them credit for that. But over the past few years, I started kind of at the county level and have worked up through that, uh, got involved with the wife and our conference. And uh, over the past couple of years, I've had the privilege to serve as president at, on my county board and then also as the district four state representative and wife and our chair sitting in as ex officio with the board of directors, which has been a tremendous experience, one that I learned so much about the organization and how important it is uh, here in the state. Everything that KFB does is tremendous. And so it's important work that everybody's doing. You guys have both obviously been involved not only in Farm Bureau, but also in the Young Farmers and Ranchers Conference. Could you go into what that conference is? So the conference is more or less a get together of the young farmers and ranchers of the state. So anybody under 36, fortunately, we have to kick anybody out that's over, over that age. We try to hold uh, different keynote speakers and workshops and also tours in Manhattan, trying to focus on different topics that are coming up throughout the state, uh, either previously or coming up in the, in the near future, whether that be water or mental health or the market and try to provide objectives for people to focus on on their operation and give them ways and resources that they can use to improve their operation and people to talk to about it and also just kind of give them I guess a, a communications branch as far as there are others out there I mean I think a lot of times we get kind of caught feeling like we're in our own little world and it, it helps remind everybody there that we're not alone. You know, there's others out there struggling with the same issues that we are. So I would jump on and add to what Austin said. One of the other roles that I didn't mention is I'm the collegiate farm bureau advisor at Pratt community college. And so we have a program for collegiate Farm Bureau members that runs in conjunction with the YFNR conference. And I always try to bring students to this event because it's a great opportunity for them, not only to network with their peers from other colleges across the state, but also for them to get a taste of what an organization and being involved in Farm Bureau can really be like and what it can bring, you know, just to their development. 
And I really have been excited about the students that I have brought over the past couple of years, seeing them come back as YFNR members now that they, you know, have graduated and are working in the industry or farming themselves. Um, and so I think that collegiate track is a really great place for people to give some exposure to some of the young people who are looking at agriculture and who might be future Farm Bureau members. I agree that definitely that process between become a collegiate member to becoming uh, just a regular attendee of YFNR is it's a, a great thing to do. For both of you, what was that time like when you first started attending Young Farmers and Ranchers and what made you choose to continue to come back? Well, I'm trying to think back to the first time. It's been a couple of years now. Honestly, I didn't know what I was doing. I just, I was at the county level and they're like, hey, we've got this conference, you should go. And my folks were actually involved with it years ago. So they were really supportive of it. And of course, you know, I tell them about it and things have changed a lot since then, but I was just overwhelmed with the amount of information and people. It's kind of intimidating at first because I didn't really know a whole lot of people, but I tried to find my few and and stick with them. But by the end of it, you know, I, I've, I've always thought Farm Bureau is a big family. So by the end of it, I gained a whole lot of friends that now I continue more or less to go back just for that part of it. I, I enjoy seeing everybody and catching up and seeing how everybody's operations are and their families are. And, and always, of course, staying up to date on what KFB is up to and how we can improve our operations. And I would Echo, trying to think back to when I started with Austin, it's been a while, but before I moved to Kansas, I was involved in YFNR programming in both Wisconsin, where I grew up, as well as California, where I did my undergraduate degree. And so I knew about what YFNR could bring to the table and had attended their state conferences and conventions and been involved in some of those activities um, as a college student. And so um, I was really excited when I moved to Pratt County to have an opportunity to go to the conference. And so I like actually was that person who like tracked down our county coordinator and was like, hey, I want to go. And they were uh, kind enough to send me. I think they were a little bit like, oh, OK, we've got somebody who's really excited about it. We don't know who this girl is. But when Mark and I attended that conference, it was really exciting to see him connect with a lot of people that he did go to college with and hadn't seen in, in a few years. And to some of the points that Austin said, you know, it's a great opportunity opportunity to hear speakers and just to get new ideas and get motivated. Uh, but that network is probably the thing that I think about when I think back to that first conference, because the people that I met at that conference are people that I now feel like I work with professionally as colleagues through the Farm Bureau organization. You know, many of us are actually aging out of young farmers and ranchers, but we've really gotten committed. And over the years, as I've continued to come back to events, my involvement has grown and I've gotten to see a lot more of the depth of what the programming looks like, as well as get involved in the competitions. And it's just, it's such a great way to just get your foot in the door, come to the conference, you know, get your feet wet, see what's out there. And that can grow into something in the future that I think will be really beneficial for you, your family and your farm. Jackie, you mentioned being involved in the competitions. Could you touch on what those competitions are and which ones you've competed in? Young Farmers and Ranchers has three competitive events on the national level. They're called Achievement Award, Excellence in Agriculture, and the Discussion Meet. Here in Kansas, we call our Achievement Award the Young Farmer of the Year. And those three competitions are intended to encourage skill development and participation from young farmers, but also recognize some of the great work that our members are doing. And so the Achievement and the Excellence competition are similar in that they're asking for people to basically take a retrospective look at everything they've done from the time that they were 18 until they compete, which is again at 35 or earlier. And it's an opportunity for them to really show off how they've grown and they've developed. So on the achievement side, it is for people who derive most of their income. So more than 50% of their income from farm. And that one does dive a little bit more into farm financials and the goals that they've set and how they've grown it. On the excellent side, we know that the future of our organization is going to have more and more people who are involved in the farm, but derive income off the farm. And so that competition is for people who bring in less than 50% of their income. And 
again, it's not only looking at um, the goals that we've set for ourselves, but how have you been involved in Farm Bureau? What are the issues that you see our organization dealing with and how do you see yourself solving those? And so both of those competitions, like I said, I almost call them like a, a resume or like a cumulative Um, How have you contributed? And in those competitions, you can compete either by yourself or married couples are welcome to participate in those competitions. The third contest that is in Farm Bureau is the discussion meet. And that is intended to be, we always call it a simulation of a committee meeting. And most people are like, I don't know what that means. (laughs) Basically, it's a panel discussion where we take a big picture ag issue, something that we're struggling with in the industry or that we know we're going to be dealing with. And we basically ask people for their best ideas to dive in and understand the problem, to look for ways that we can solve it and try to come up with consensus. So it's not a debate. A lot of people get that wrong. It really is meant to be a productive conversation where we're exchanging ideas and looking for opportunities to move forward. And I always tell people the discussion meet is probably one of the, whether you like to speak or not, it's one of the single most beneficial competitions because the skills that you learn in that competition to be able to listen and to be courteous to others and how to present your ideas and, you know, how to ask good questions are all of the things that we need as we get onto county boards or even into other positions, you know, the school board or the county commissioners. Those are the types of skills that I use every single day in my life. And I think that it's a really good experience for people, uh, whether or not they go on to win the competition. And so I'm glad that we have that available. So those are the, the three contests that are available to YFNR members. And each year, our state winners we usually give out four prizes, their cash prizes for the adult competition. And then the first place person in each competition gets a trip to the American Farm Bureau Federation's convention to represent the state and try for some fabulous prizes on the national level. The national winner gets a new Ford vehicle. There's tractors given out, cash prizes, toolboxes, lots of really great stuff from the sponsors that we have. Jackie, you touched on the events that happen for the young farmers and ranchers. And I know discussion meet also happens for the collegiate members, Mm -hmm. but there's also another event called Quiz Bowl. Could you touch on what that event looks like for collegiate members? Yeah, absolutely. And I'm thanks for pointing that out. So the collegiate competitions are great because, again, another opportunity for people who are, I'm going to say, learning those skills to really put themselves out there. And so the collegiate competition for discussion meet runs just like the adult one, same questions, but again, just with other uh, college students. The Quiz Bowl competition is really an opportunity for our collegiate groups to show off their ag knowledge. And so it is a traditional Quiz Bowl style competition where they're asked questions that can be anything from ag mechanics to plant science, to animal science, to farm bureau knowledge. It really kind of covers the gamut. And I always am really impressed by the students because in the Farm Bureau competition, we don't give like a selection of answers of is it A, B, C, or D. It's like, here's the question. Do you know the answer? So it's a great opportunity for some of those teams to come in and just show off the general knowledge that they're learning in their ag classes and some of the programs that they're doing. And I know we get a lot of a lot of participation uh, and there's a lot of pride around being the champions for that competition. Austin, Jackie, as people who have attended this event multiple years, why would you encourage someone who may be new to Farm Bureau or just didn't know that this event existed, what would you tell them to encourage them to come? I would just say to just give it a try. I had to convince a friend of mine last year of it. And he was like, it was 20 questions with him um, trying to, you know, what's this, what's that, what's that. And I'm like, if you want to improve your operation, if you want to network, if you want to build communications with other people in your field, potential customers, potential employers, potential employees, maybe down the road, this is a good place to start those connections. You're going to learn more about yourself. You're going to learn more about what's going on in the agricultural world and things that could impact your relationship with with individuals, your relationship with producers, consumers, and also items that could more or less affect your bottom line at the end of the day too. And at the end of the day, you're making good friends and you're seeing involvement with KFB and everything that the organization does. And so most of those individuals that I've tried to convince of that are new members and they just don't know anything about it. And I've never gotten a, a negative review afterwards. They, they've always really, really enjoyed it. I would jump in and say that it can be somewhat 
lonely or feel a little bit isolated sometimes when you're in the ag industry or you're on a farm, especially as a young person and you're like establishing your career and trying to figure out how to be in the community that you're living in. And I see Farm Bureau and YFNR event as a really great opportunity for people to to make that network and connect with others. And I always laugh about the conversations that I hear in the hall. You know, it's not just the, hey, we're talking about this policy issue or the mental health awareness. It's a lot of times like, who did you use to rebuild your disc? Like it's a lot of that just industry knowledge that's being exchanged. It's a chance to connect with other people and know that, hey, like I'm not alone. Um, Some of the best people that I enjoy being friends with and have really chosen to be part of my, you know, board of directors and support team, you know, personally are people that I've met through Farm Bureau because we share values and we're on the same page. And so I think when I would talk to someone, I would tell them about, you know, how great that support system and that network can be. But I think I would also say to them, you know, most people who are in agriculture aren't there because it's like the the hot industry or the smart industry. It's because they have a passion for uh, feeding the world and the industry, you know, they either grew up in it or found that they loved it. And one of the things that Farm Bureau does is it's really working towards protecting the future of our industry, making sure people can continue to farm, that rural communities are healthy. We spend a lot of time in advocacy and policy work to move towards those things. And so coming to an event like YFNR can not only give you some additional knowledge about what those issues are that are going on and hear from speakers, but it also can help you build the skills so that as you get more comfortable, you can begin to be an advocate in your community and you can take on some of those leadership roles that are going to be really important and that we need Farm Bureau people to do. And so if I'm talking to someone who is, you know, kind of on the fence and they've never been, um, I just really encourage them to come for the network and the skill building, you know, the, the motivation that comes from it, but also to just because it's a, it's a great opportunity for them to see what's out there. And I think a lot of people sometimes just need that encouragement because it feels like, oh, you know, I'm not going to know anybody or everybody's going to already be connected, but you won't have an opportunity to connect with people if you don't attend the conference. And so that's why I would encourage young people or, or new people to come to the conference. I agree. It's definitely something worth looking into attending. Thank you both so much for taking the time to join me today and to talk about this conference. I appreciate it. Thanks so much for having us. Thank you, Shelby. Those were Kansas Farm Bureau members, Jackie Munt from Pratt County and Austin Hebert from Harvey County. If you're interested in attending Kansas Farm Bureau's Young Farmers and Ranchers in Manhattan, Kansas, January 27th through the 29th, you can find out more information about the event by going to kfb.org. I'm Shelby Varner, and this has been Inside Ag from Kansas Farm Bureau, the voice of agriculture. Agriculture.